What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Welcome, welcome back to... What's up, guys? Yeah, welcome, welcome back, back to Views, Views the, the podcast where Jason is, is me today. <laughs> I'm David today. You're David? Yeah. All right, go. Do the intro. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Views, the podcast where I've got a million-dollar mansion and Jason is a okay. fucking douchebag. Okay. And Jason has never accomplished anything in his life and have done more at the age of 21 than Jason <laughs> will ever do before he dies. He'll probably die tomorrow because he is so old. Did I tell you I have a $160,000 car and my life is fucking roses? Well, it is. And money is my middle name. That's right. I professionally changed it to David Money Dobrik. I have a $2.6 million house and tons of cool friends that have a lot of subscribers on YouTube like Zane, Scott, okay. Todd, okay. Heath. All right, roll the intro music. love me. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is a podcast by David Dobrik and Jason Nash. I'm the younger one. Jason's the uglier one. Or, sorry, older one. Um, today, we're going to... Two be, insults. Two insults. <laughs> Boom, right off the start. Today, we're going to be talking about a bunch of things. Um, you want to start it off, or should I start it off? Um, I'll, let, I'll let you go first. You seem angry. I am. What, what I happened? am a little angry. <laughs> what happened? I'm putting two children to bed, two of America's future upstairs i'm putting them to bed your neighbor's kids are over (laughs) (laughs) okay you know what you can say that i'm an idiot but those two kids are not idiots okay they're quite talented sure sure sure. okay so and david comes in and i'm just gonna i'm we're gonna wake my kids if i really really get mad so you're gonna get the toned down dad right now david's just banging on the door (laughs) i'm fucking putting them to bed bro what are you gonna because you gotta go see avengers you know why i was banging on the door why because i noticed you got new doors beautiful by the way but thank you (laughs) i only get to see them because i don't when i when i come over but what what i thought i paid for them did you pay for the doors no i didn't pay for them what what stressed me out about the doors is there's no window anymore so i didn't know if if my sound was getting over to the other side (laughs) so i banged extra hard because they were new doors and, and you weren't coming to the door. Normally, you answered the door so quickly. So I got worried, so I started banging in louder. <laughs> and then I called you. Did you think I was dead? I, I checked the window to see if it was open. And I, I know it was only like 30 <laughs> seconds, but I'm like, this fucking new door is stressing me out. Well, I, I, was, I had him all set to go. I said, David's here, David's here. And then Charlie said, you better go or else he's going to yell at you. <laughs> That's what your daughter said? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Because yeah. uh, they and are I, smart, huh? And I, I said to Wyatt, I go, here you go. Uh, go, David's here. I gotta go. And he goes, Oh, Daddy, uh, can you can you tuck me in real quick? And so then I had to like tuck him in, and then you know, you, you, and you're banging during those moments. And it's very stressful. So and the dog. I've never been tucked in. Explain that to me. What do you mean you never? Oh, well, <laughs> wow, well, that explains a lot. I was, <laughs> You've never been tucked in. I was no. I was your parents ra- didn't tuck you in. I was raised by wolves. Wolves can't tuck. <laughs> no, I've met your parents. They're beautiful people. No, I think I'm sure they tucked me in at some point. You just know. have no memory of it, you Jeffrey Dahmer looking motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I forget everything that's special. God damn it! What happened to you? <laughs> Not did much. you get hit by a bus when you were little? No, when I was like eight. You did get hit by a bus. Yeah, but I was a lot older than you think. <laughs> We were a lot older than I think. Yeah, you probably thought I got hit by a bus when I was a lot younger. When I was eight. <laughs> no, eight sounds about right. That seems to be where your oh, your maturity level cuts off. <laughs> yeah, well, I got hit by a bus when I was eight. Um, guess what I did last night? You won't fucking guess. Uh, I bet you, because what am I doing today? You're going to see the Avengers. Okay, do me a favor and guess what I did last night. Saw the Avengers. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going back. No. Guess what fucking happened, bro? Can we not whisper? It's stressing me out. No, you can talk in a normal voice. Okay. So you know what happened? So today about. I'm seeing Avengers. Yeah. And last night at 11 o'clock, yeah. I cut off my entire day. I'm like, I'm not filming. I'm going to go see Avengers because I love movies, guys. I sure. love movies. Sure. So I get to the theater. Yeah. It's 11.20. I put my order in for food. Yeah. And the fucking... This is an expensive movie theater, right? It's I pick. So Westwood? It's, yeah. No. Pasadena. Got it. So it's $50 for two tickets. 50 okay. bucks okay. To, to, take, to take someone with you. Okay. So it's, it's me and Liza and Scott and Kristen. And, and we're, we're sitting. The trailer's on. Yeah. And the screen's a little blurry. <gasps> So I go up to the manager. I'm like, the screen's blurry. Yeah, I know how much you wanted this. So this is a good story. And, 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 and right before... You've been talking about it. Right before we got in the car yeah. to go to the movie, yeah. um, Scott gets in the car and he goes, I think something bad's going to happen to us right now. And we go, what the fuck? Like, Scott never says shit like that. So we're like, what do you mean? You're, you're right. Like, and he's like, just something bad's going to happen tonight. What? And we're like, that's weird. So I drove extra safe. I drove 90 miles per hour to get off the road quickly because I didn't want to <laughs> I didn't want to risk the chances of being on the road. Sure, good thinking. So, so anyway, we 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 were on um 
Yeah, we're at the movies. Yeah. And then the movie starts. We're like 10 minutes in. The screen hasn't been fucking fixed. <gasps> I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. Eliza says, I'm going to go get up and I'm going to go get up and ask someone to fix it. <gasps> and, I, and I yell at her. I'm like, sit down. <laughs> Just sit down and pay attention. <laughs> because, because I get so upset when people leave during movies. <laughs> so I got really fucking, I got, I got dude, it was, my, it was like the worst the anxiety attack in my life. Why are you yelling at Eliza? No, it was 10 minutes in. It was 10 minutes into the movie. It already started. <gasps> oh. And then I'm like, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I'm sorry I raised my voice. That's not what I meant. I'm just in a bad spot right now. Like you sh- I, wish you, I wish you weren't seeing me like this. Um, yeah. And then 15- you were Thanos in that situation. Yeah. But go ahead. And then, see, I don't even know that reference because <laughs> I haven't seen the fucking movie. <laughs> and then 15 minutes, 15 minutes in, so this is five minutes later, um, I can't even see the characters' faces because it's so fucking blurry. No. And there's other people in the theater with us, but I don't think they notice. Like they're just, there's men, I don't know. They're, they're, they're completely gone. I don't know what's wrong Did with Scott them. notice? Scott noticed. Kristen? Yes. They all, oh, they, they all notice. You four noticed. And then, and then Liza's like, I'm going to go talk to them. I'm like, okay, go for it. Liza got up to go talk to the manager and she's gone. And it's just me watching the movie. I can barely hear because the sound feels like it's off and, and the screen is off. Like it's yeah. not super high def. And I start, I started, I started fucking tearing up, Jason. <laughs> I literally started crying when Liza was gone because I'm like, this is, this is all I have. This is all I have. And I just started fucking tearing up. I'm like, I've been waiting for this movie for five months. I, 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 I pre-planned what I was going to order. Yeah. I ordered three barbecue sauces and three ranch <laughs> for my sweet potato fries. Uh-huh. And I got buffalo spring rolls. And I got a Coke and a water. Ooh. And, and I was ready to go. I Good was, job. I was ready. Good job on the Coke and water. I like that. Thank you. I was, I was ready to go. I don't give a fuck. And then they come back and they're like, yeah, our projection person, our projection uh, woman is out of town or uh, out of the office today. So we can't get it fixed. So we just got up and left. I was like, I can't do this. So I left. Wow. Yeah. So this was like, now it was like midnight and I just wasted like, you know, I wasted technically my entire night because it wasn't just like from 11 to midnight. Sure. At nine o'clock, I started cramming everything I needed to do yeah. and I started stressing out. Yeah. And so, when you waste a night, it's, you're, you work at night. So people yeah. should know that. It's not like you're just home. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like yeah, I, 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 I usually filming. film till like one or, you know, yeah. like 1 a.m. is when I bring that vlog to the people the next day. Yeah. Yeah. He works so, late. He works hard. So this was like a really big waste of a night for me. Sure. Dude, unbelievable. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. I mean, the cry- uh, especially the, that movie. The crying's a little much. But the crying. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. I'm a I bitch. Think, I think maybe now. See, I wouldn't say that. I think maybe the crying might have been about something else. You in think? Your life, yeah. Yeah. I think you're working through something. Because <laughs> if you're crying, the fact that Avengers isn't playing, I don't. No, but that's the I worst think, part. I don't that's think you're the, that big of a Marvel fan. I would have loved. I would have loved if it wasn't playing. But it was playing, and that's what I hated is that it was playing in very poor quality. That like that's what bummed me out. The three other people you were with were in agreement that you would leave. Yeah. Because I feel like if I was with you, I'd be like, it's fine. The, uh, first, Scott and Kristen were like, it's fine. And then I was like, I'm sorry, guys. You can stay here. I even told Liza. I'm like, Liza, I, I really won't be offended if you stay here. I'm just, I just got to go. I can't do this. What did Liza say? Liza's like, yeah, that's totally fine. I, I don't like, it doesn't look good either. And then the. the well, well, I don't understand. And then the blurry? Me- yeah, it was blurry. Like, it, like how? Like, you know when you go to an eye doctor yeah. and they go, okay, is this better or is this better? Yeah. This was the not better option. Okay. You know when they like slide through different things? Just a little it off. It was a little off. And the sound too. The sound was too quiet. Yeah. Did you turn to a stranger next to you and go, did anyone else have a problem? No, because everybody else there was like, I don't know, they're probably all drunk. Like, they just, I don't think they could tell. Um, Who's drunk at a, at a movie on a Wednesday, Scott, Tuesday night? Oh. Scott was. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, well, that's, that's for that. Um, I pick Pasadena. Get your shit together. Because I'm surprised, you know, I'm surprised they didn't go, listen, sorry about that. We have another theater open here for you in about 20 minutes after this movie ends. We'll play it for you in this theater. Yeah. Like, I don't know why they don't do that because it's, it's such an expensive place to go watch movies. Yeah. Like, they Did you should, get your money back? You get, we got our money back, but they should have given us like a voucher for the next month. You know yeah, what I mean? Like yeah, that's, yeah. that's a huge inconvenience. And like, imagine if I was somebody else, if I wasn't like, you know, a teenager, if I was like a busy guy who just took off like a business meeting to be here. I don't know. I, I did, was, you, did you like the first 10 minutes? I, dude, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. It's so good. It's the best movie I ever saw. Yeah? Saw it with Wyatt. We, we were in heaven. I'm excited. I'm, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing it today. I'm seeing it. Is Scott going with you? I'm seeing it an hour and a half. No, it's just me and Liza. Oh, I am even better. So I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. I'm really excited. Even better. Did just you, the two of you. Did you see this David Goodall? Um, he's, he's a I scientist. I saw it. You saw it? He's a scientist. Yeah. And he, um, he's going to, uh, to Switzerland or something to euthanize himself. I was lying. I just wanted to sound smart. What's he doing? <laughs> he's, he's going to Switzerland. He's, he's 104 years old, and he's going to euthanize himself. Oh, God. That's when you lose your virginity. 
When I lose my mind? No, I'm kidding. I just wanted to see if you knew what euthanize was. <laughs> that, that's when you kill yourself. Basically, yeah, basically. no, I know. In like, in like a proper way. Where people, it's like putting a dog shit. down, but like when a human decides to... What's his deal? Does he... Um, I, is he, he sick? No, I think he just lived a life. He's just like, done? Dude, when you're 100 years old, you really want to be around, you're 45 and you're already having those thoughts. You know what I mean? Yeah, but he's not on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's going to have two kids. It's divorced <laughs> life. And, wow, begins trip to end his life. Yeah, brutal, huh? What would you do if you're about to end your life? What would be the last thing you do on the last day? So you're like, this is it. I'm happy. I'm going to live to 22. Like I, like, what would like you I, do? What would you, what's your last day? Honestly, what would it be? My last day? Would you make a vlog? This is, this is a little <laughs> reckless. Why? Because, well, what I would do is a little reckless. And I, it's a oh. little, it's not the most appropriate thing, but I would definitely buy the fastest car I can get and go on a police chase. <laughs> I know, I, but I know, I'm, I know I'm endangering others. So you could be on TV? Why would you want to be in a police chase? You just want that feel, that thrill. I'm like, dude, cops chasing you? Like, that's, that's un- Look, listen, Jason, no one will ever have that feeling legally unless they come up with like, the best virtual reality. That's like the best feeling. Well, first of all, they don't chase you that, that hard. They're not allowed to. They're, because, you know, I mean, if, even if you're, doing like, if you're doing like 110, they let you go and the, the helicopter takes over. So you really, you can just drive around all you want. You sure. get on the news and shit, which would be cool. That would be dope, yeah. But, I mean, I don't I think you're, you're not going to get the Grand Theft Auto experience that you're talking about. Really? I don't think so. No? no you they can't, can't get hookers in the middle of a police chase? <laughs> that's just a video game? Oh, so that's what you want to do on your last day. <laughs> <laughs> um, what would you do on your last day? My last day, I Pay would... your taxes off? <laughs> yeah, fuck the government. <laughs> fuck you, that shit. What would you do? I would... Um, I would sing a song with my children. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I, would. I, would, I, would, I would write and record music with my children. That would be the last thing I would do. And I don't even write or record music. Damn, that's making me fucking tear up. Yeah, dog. I mean, that's why... Why'd you have you... to go to such a real place? I, I went with police chase. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were doing... I thought we were doing fun stuff. I'd motorboat Trisha's tits. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I'm trying to think. Yeah, the perfect day for me is just being with them. I mean, honestly... Um, you know, shooting something cool, that would be cool. I saw, Those are my two loves. You were, I saw you were in Vegas, and you jumped off like the stratosphere or whatever. Yes. Basically, it's like bungee jumping. Yes. And I saw when you jumped, you, you go, I love you, Trisha. And then you're like, oh, shit. I love you, Charlie. <laughs> I love you, Wyatt. He's like, oh, fuck. I got Like, as he was in midair, he's like, I love you, Trisha. And then I could see, like, in his head, he's like, oh, crap. I got to say I love you to my kids. <laughs> um, no, I was, she, as we were going up, she's like, you better say my name. You better say my name oh, when shit, I get up really? there. Yeah, and I was like, okay, remember well, to say Trisha. Okay, give me the full story right now. Yeah, Trisha was really drunk yep. in Vegas. Yep. What happened? Uh, Trisha's his girlfriend, by the way, who is she's a cool person. I don't want to say anything or she'll fucking kill me. <laughs> she <listens laughs> she's great. Trisha's his amazing girlfriend. Yeah. Okay, go. Yeah, you know, she just got drunk in Vegas, and I think she was trying to. You know what's cool about Trisha? What is she can never t- catch me talking shit about her behind her back because hmm. like everything. Like <laughs> you say, I tell her. Yeah, no, like everything, <laughs> everything I want to say to somebody else, I tell her in person. Do you know what I mean? Like if someone goes like, "Hey, how's Trisha?" I'll be like, "Oh, she's batshit crazy." All right, like, right, it's right. just like it's just like. Well, that, that that's on you. You're you're a good person like that. You don't talk shit. You tell people right to their face what you think of them. No, but, the, um, but Trisha's I'm pretty good Trisha, about that. With Trisha's everybody. so amazing about it is because she like embraces all her craziness. Uh-huh. And like, and someone was telling me like, someone was asking like. Uh, they were like, I, I wonder why so many people watch Trisha. And I'm like, because she documents herself at her worst. Yes. And like, that's like, that's like what everybody wants to watch. Yes. Is like, Trisha is everybody at their worst. Yes. <laughs> and like, that's, that's why people watch it. Yeah. And, yeah, and, and that's why all the, the fans love her so much. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, she, go for she it. Just got, she just got really drunk and she, um, she started texting some other guy that she. What was this guy's I, name? I don't know. And, and around, and then she's like, "I'm going to this other guy's house," and I was like, "Okay, go." And I think it was like more of a test to see what I would do. So she was texting some guy, yeah, basically insinuating that she was going to fuck him. No, she didn't say that. She just said, "I'm going to some guy's house." Wow. Well, but but what time was it? It was late. Like, give me a time. It was just, it was just after after midnight. <laughs> 4 a.m. <laughs> it was four o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> no, no, it was it was after midnight and. I don't know, man. She's been she's been really good. She's been. Uh, so what happened with the story? She said she was gonna go go with this guy, and, and I said, okay, go. Oh shit! And she said, well, he, he'll be here in an hour to pick me up, and I said, oh, okay. And then, and then I tr- kept trying to tell her to stay, tell her to stay, tell her to stay, and then eventually, yeah, she didn't go. 
That was it. Wow. And it, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. You know, she's, she's. Have you ever have you ever threatened anyone by saying you were going to go hook up with a girl? No, right? It probably doesn't work. They're probably like, yeah, right. <laughs> Fucking send me a picture when you're there, too. People are like... I don't believe that shit. When this desperate bitch comes to pick you up, let me meet her. She's been, she's been really good. She, she just, you know, she, people slip up and... Sure, sure. She's got a lot of... Uh, no, you guys have been doing good. Past, I, past problems that come up in the relationship, like today. Uh, she bought a billboard. Oh, my God. Oh, let's talk about the billboard next. Go for it. She, she, what did she buy today? She bought... No, no. Let's talk about the billboard. She, she, she bought this billboard of she, herself she, eating chicken fingers, and she was on. She's on her knees eating chicken fingers. In she a, bought in a, a billboard bikini. where she's basically naked, eating chicken fingers in, in a bikini. In a bikini. But she's on all fours. But you haven't told her. You haven't, the billboard is is I think I, genuinely I think it's two hundred feet away from Jason's house. <laughs> it's 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 five hundred feet from my kid's school. Yeah, it's like you can't you can't miss it when you're leaving Jason's house <laughs> or when the kids go for a recess. Yeah, and in her mind, she thought she was doing a good thing. She was like, I, "She's like, babe, I want you to see me when I, you know, when you go out your door." That's amazing. Which I will. I think it's and pretty dope. So the PTA, and so, so the, PTA. the gym teachers, and it, it, you know, yeah. it, it's it's you got you got to be honestly as crazy as it, as it is. You kind of have to be proud. We like, had a big fight today. It was awful. What happened today? I don't know. Like we were getting along really good, and um, and I and we started to re- we were at the Grove, and she wanted to do this video, and I was like, "Cool, let's do it." And then she, she, uh, she, she brought her camera out, and I and and she started to do her video, which was uh, you know, recreating our first uh, kiss or something. And then uh, she's like, she's like, well, she's like, you know, we 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 hooked up way before that, and she kept saying that. And then I was like, oh, I was like, I got like kind of uncomfortable or whatever. And then I just like, I, I just like walked away for a second because she wanted sunglasses. And I went, I went to like look at the, she wanted matching sunglasses and she got really pissed. And then, and that was it. We just fought the entire day. And that was it. I was, I was like, it just, it just goes like that. Like it's like, I a, don't, I almost didn't understand that because that was like the worstly described fight I've ever heard. You know what? You're, you're right because I don't understand. <laughs> I, I don't understand what she was mad at. And then that was it. We, we, we were silent the whole way home. She was like, that's it. I'm done. I don't want to do the video. And wow. I was like, so it's just, it's, it's, it's really up and down, David. But that's, that's kind of the fun part. I mean, that's why you're around. If it was all daisies, you wouldn't be dating her. I know. You're, you're in for the ride. And she's mad at me now. She is? Yeah. Why? I texted her. So I'm supposed to go surfing tomorrow morning. And you canceled? No. I texted her. I said, are you going to come? You're still coming tomorrow, even though I know like, we were kind of fighting. And then it said... Um, See what it is. Jason's pulling up his text right now. He said, uh, "Probably not." I have. This is very unlike her. Okay, very unlike her. Uh, You're gonna come tomorrow morning. Probably not. I have to get my eyelashes done. I'll probably Uber and pick my car up. I have the keys, and this is the this is the kicker, David, because she knows she wants to spend every minute with me. Yeah. And then I've got an all day hair appointment Friday. I mean, that's right. Oh shit! She doesn't say that. So not only did she say she's busy tomorrow, which is Thursday, Mm -hmm. then she said the next day, don't fuck with me either. Yep. That's what she said. And okay. Then I back, okay. So oh. maybe it's over. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, you know, I don't know. Yeah. I have no idea. Trisha is the talk of these podcasts. We should fucking name this to Trisha. I was going to say, let's not talk about her tonight. Okay, let's do something else. <laughs> um, we, got, we got a letter in from somebody. Yeah. And it says, hi, David and Jason. I've been following you guys since Vine, and I wish you all very much success and happiness oh, in your lives. Oh, nice. I remember Vine. Fuck you, I'll Jason, though, Vine you smelly ass minutes. bitch. Oh, let me finish this oh, before you start. <laughs> <laughs> I am 22 years old. I'm not happy. I want to die. <laughs> it's I, not sad, particularly. What is sad is if one is prevented. That's, that's the guy. Oh, that's Jason's reading an article <laughs> that's unrelated to what I'm reading. <laughs> the guy wants to kill himself. Sorry, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> go. I am 22 years old and a single mother of a four-year-old. I have dedicated my whole life to him ever since I found out I was pregnant. Ooh. It's always been him. And since day one, I focused so much these past five years on being a mom that I've forgotten that I am still young and I've forgotten to take care of myself. I start going to the gym again and have lost 30 pounds. Good for fucking you. Yeah. I do have a social life. I do not have a social life. I do not have any friends other than my two best friends who also had kids young, but both had their family and I don't ever see them. Mm. I think one reason why I support and love you all very much is because I'm envious of your guys' friend group. How do you make friends? How can I gain a social life again? Sorry for coming off as such a loser. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Leslie, if you think you came off as a loser, then you don't watch these videos and you are not familiar with Jason. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah not at all, Leslie. I totally, that's the best letter we've gotten. I, I relate the most to that 
How old is she? Uh, she's 22. Is she, how old are the kids? Four. So she had them when, when she was 18. Okay, this is so easy. Okay. They're four. Give the kid up for adoption. <laughs> <laughs> Go to They're the, four. He won't remember shit. There's probably a fire station in your town. There's a <laughs> we law. We can help you. There's, <laughs> there's a law. They, they, they cannot, they're not allowed to ask questions. Just drop the baby off. No I questions asked. I think that's still crazy. We've talked about it on the podcast before. That's a law. They're not allowed to ask questions? Yeah, or else they go in the dumpster. I mean, that's what people do. That's, that's a really good rule. It's a good law. It's a really good law. Tell her that she's... she's <laughs> what are you... I'm not fucking... I like, I'm not I like, on the phone I like with when her. you say it. Okay. Tell her I said... <laughs> are you on the phone with Susan? Yeah, go, go. What should I tell her? Tell her she's, she's fucked until the babies are like six. Hey, you're fucked until the babies... Are you serious? Yeah. Why? Like, once they get to be like five or six, she'll, her life will be a lot better. Because you can, you can have... Um, you can have... Oh, yeah. She first, thinks she's a loser right now because she has this, this live thing attached to her at all times that can't, that, that can't live without her. But she's, you're, really, you're just in the bad stages of being a and mom. And I, I noticed how you said you're 22 and that's really young. But that's exactly the point, too, is that you are really young. And, like, you can make friends fucking in six years, seven years, even in, in a year or two. Like, there's no fucking rush to do that, like, whatsoever. The so other, don't even worry about the that. Other, the other thing that a lot of people do is they make their babies, like, mobile. And they make them, like, a part of their life. And they, they fucking, like, take the baby to shit. Like, don't take it to a dance club. But... You know, just take the baby to like an art class or just take the baby everywhere you go. Oh, and it's sure, really sure. good for the kid. Oh, tie it onto your like chest. <laughs> yes, with rope. Rope. With <laughs> rope and duct tape. <laughs> yes. And then if his legs are wiggling too much, staple them. Um, uh, she's, just in the, she's just in a bad place no, right now and it'll get better. Yeah. Because that's a really hard age. Four is, four is awful. Four is awful? Until they get to be about six, you know, parenting is awful. Don't ever, ever have a kid. And if you're going to have one, have a six-year-old. Have a six-year-old, yeah. Adopt. Do not get a four-year-old. Have um, someone else take care of them until they're six. Um, I feel bad for her. Maybe we could, I don't know. Can I, one time, one time when my sister was born. Yeah? Well, she was only born one time. Yeah. One of the times my sister was born. <laughs> um, when my sister was born, she was maybe like a month old. Yeah. And my grandma was carrying her, um, like in her arm. Mm -hmm. And I had this like little lacrosse stick type thing. It was like handheld. It was very small. It was like, it was almost like a tennis racket, mm -hmm. right? And um, we, we lived in this apartment that had a staircase that winded around. So you could look down the middle of the staircase and there was nothing there. It was just the bottom hallway. Mm. So six floors up, you look down and you saw six floors down. Oh, uh, Does that make sense? Yeah. So my grandma had the kid, had my sister in her hand, down on the first floor. And, um, and my friend threw down the tennis racket and it hit my grandma right in the elbow, like literally a foot away from my sister's head. Wow. Yeah. Scary, huh? And that would, that so would, precious. That would have killed. That would probably kill the baby. Or like, no, it wouldn't have killed, killed her. her. No, dude. I mean, that's when like her her scalp is like the softest thing on the planet. No, the babies can fall on their head. Charlie fell on her head. Okay, well, she did. If that's what they told you, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> hey, doctor. So she fell once. How many times do I have left? <laughs> no, that. Baby, How many times can I drop her? Babies' heads are really resilient. Bullshit. It's true. No, they're so delicate. No, dude. it's the opposite. Really? Yeah. That's that's how God makes them. Trisha's getting me into Jesus. Okay, did Trisha tell you that babies, babies can be dropped a lot? No. That doesn't sound right. No, B, Trisha didn't tell me that. But it is true. Charlie fell on, on a brick uh, floor once with, on her head. She How did she fall? I dropped. No. Um, <laughs> oh, she, she, just, she, just, she just fell. She was in like a, um, what do you call those little strollers? A car, car seat. And she just wiggled out of it. And nothing happened? Nope. She was fine. She fell on her fucking head. How scared were you guys? So scared. And she was fine. I mean, she was crying for a while. How old was she? Fucking one. How did you test out that she was fine? Did you ask her? Um, we, we got her a chalkboard with chalk, uh -huh. and she drew out the Pythagorean theorem. <laughs> and and she we were like, like, you're fine. Yeah, that's yeah. fucking amazing. Good <laughs> for her. I'm proud of her. Um, that's, what's the toughest part about raising kids? Um, having you around when no. they're trying to go to bed. Fuck off. <laughs> um, when, you, when, you, when you first change a diaper, yeah. how was that process? Oh my god, the poops are awful. They're just—they're not solid, and they go everywhere. I've seen them. I've seen the poops. I haven't seen them go everywhere. Oh really? Oh, but yeah, I mean, yeah, they, they, go, they go everywhere in the diaper. That's what I mean. Oh yeah, yeah. I thought you meant like on the walls. Have and you stuff. ever been pissed on while you've been changing a diaper? <laughs> I've only been dating Trisha a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> You're so gross. <laughs> um, oh yeah, she always wants to watch me pee. It's really weird. Trisha? Yeah. 
I think she just wants to make sure that you're not in there hooking up with someone <laughs> or masturbating to someone on Pornhub. Um, no, sorry. This is a, that's really gross. We should say we should either talk about babies or Trisha. We shouldn't mix those two. <laughs> well, you know. Yeah, go well, ahead. Trisha wants kiss. Okay. Anyway, what was what's what's the toughest part? By the way, what? Jason has had his gum in his hand. I know. And, and it's like like his gum. Like he just he spit it out, and it's all sticky, and it's and it's. It looks like a spider web caught in his fingers because yeah. that's how Jason operates. And the dog was looking my feet tonight. The dog was looking your feet? For a really long time. Yeah, we were playing piano in the other room and the dog got jealous. You and the piano? Huh? I'm sorry, you and the dog <laughs> were playing piano? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me and the dog were playing piano. He was fucking jealous. He got really jealous because I was uh, playing with the kids and singing. What's hard about having kids? Let's see. Uh, feeding them. Um, Raising them, uh, getting up in the morning. Oh, is, is that tough? Is it true that you don't sleep when you have kids? No, man. I haven't slept in years. I yeah. get up so early. You know when oh, school starts? When? It starts at 7.55. Don't you think that's early? That's nuts. I was just thinking about that. Someone actually brought it up. Um, Why do you got to go to school for so long? So stupid. So stupid. They say kids learn better at 10 a.m. anyway. Okay, never mind. I take it back. No, oh. because okay, because because looking back at it, looking backwards, yeah. like now I can never wake up that early and go to eight hours of school. Right. But like I know how it was as a kid, and like it sucked, but it was totally doable. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, but you like school. You were like all it was. You were Mister Social. I, I didn't like waking up though. You didn't? No. It, it is. I, I liked. I liked being able to like. We got out at two ten. Uh huh. So two ten, we were out of school. Like how kick ass is that? At two ten, I get to. Go yeah, they get out at two twenty. Oh. Yeah, you got him beat. Yeah. You win this one. How'd you like shooting that with paintballs today? Oh yeah, it's a pretty fun game. Yeah, I shot, I shot, I shot my friends with paintballs today, which mm-hmm. is, seems kind of normal at this point. Um, can I read one more letter, please? What the fuck? This one. Okay, uh, this is Gari from India. So basically, homosexuality is punishable offense in India. I Trisha know- just texted me. Is this live? No, she didn't text okay, you. <laughs> um, okay, listen to this because this seems intense. So basically, homosexuality is a punishable offense in India. I know a lot of people who fall into that category in our society, yet they are often mistreated. How do you think I should talk to them and somehow console them? them, Sorry. What does Jason have to say about this, since he has shit ton of life experience? (laughs) Um, Okay. Well, first of all, are you in it? First of all, that's so fucking dumb. Dude, I, I actually... He, he wants to know what I think about them killing homosexuals? No, I don't think they kill. I think they just punish them, like, uh, jail time. I don't know. I mean, for all I know, that they could kill people in India. I don't know. Um, that's First of all, I don't understand that. I actually know... I know people... I, I have friends of mine whose parents don't like homosexuals. Really? And I mean, we do. We do. It, it, it's, oh, it's, yeah, yeah. It's just so interesting. It doesn't make any fucking sense. It like you think they're fucking with you, yeah. like you think it's bullshit because it's so. It's so. Who gives a fuck? Like right. who? Like how can you even like consume your thoughts and like how can you spend energy thinking about such stupid shit that like does not concern you whatsoever? Like it blows my fucking mind. How are the people out there? That like it, it, I don't get it. I don't get it. It's literally. Did you have any people in school that that were gay? I, I mean, I'm sure there were a ton, but I, nobody it, was out. Nobody was out yet. It was it was like two or three people that were maybe out, but like it was just like. Did they have, they have boyfriends and stuff? No, 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 no. Yeah. That, no, it, it, it's a lot. Did they get made fun of? No, no not no, at all. No, something tells me they don't. Kids don't, over at Charlie and Wyatt school, they don't make fun of kids anymore. I don't. No, think. it's it's different where you go. It's different where you go. Where I go, it's like really no, I'm liberal saying like, and forward like, thinking. It, it's it's from school to school. Like every right. school is different. Right. Um. It, all it takes is like two bad kids to be like fucking cunts and like pick on someone. Do you know what I mean? Right. Um. But no, I don't know. Uh. How do you think I should talk to them and somehow console them? I don't know. It's just a. I don't. How do you talk to? How do you talk to someone that's gay and be like, it's okay, it's not a big deal, when it's so fucking obviously not a big deal? Do you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like, I, like if, if, some guy, if, if some guy from Wyatt's school walked up to me, he was like 10 years old, and he was like, listen, man, I'm gay. Um, I don't know what to do. I'm like, fuck, just live your fucking life. Like, it's, it's, right. it's, it's not a big deal at this point. Like, it's not like, I, I, I'm mind blown that this is so But he's talking problem. about India. <laughs> sure, he's talking which about is, India. Which is a place where people don't have any money. I don't know. I don't understand. Or educa- that. You know, it's like it's like the poorest country in the world. It, 
Like the poverty know. there is ridiculous. Doesn't India have like I don't know? It, it just I, might not be a forward thinking place where he's from. I mean, we're really lucky. I think I'll, I'll tell you what's really cool. But what, I In, don't understand it, Jason. Like what, even you if you're not what? forward thinking, like do you know what I mean? Like I get I get having like issues with abortion and like having some stupid weird political. But thought. that's the nature of of people, it, people that are oppressed. That's the nature of they they find like enemies and they take down people like because their lives suck. So they, they pick on people that are different. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. I'll it's, tell you what's really interesting. In my lifetime, when I was a kid, like being gay, like all that stuff, and then I literally saw like the, the, that whole revolution happen with gay people where it was like not okay and then it was okay. How many people were gay in your school? None. None? None. No, no kids in high school were out. None. And, and they wouldn't be. If they were out, they would have been fucking so messed with. Really? Yeah. And I'm sure that you know there were gay people in my school, right? Sure, sure. Had to be. And my sister didn't come out. She was 25 until she was 25. Yeah. I mean, you're right. I mean, I definitely think that people had problems with it a couple of years ago, but like, I don't know. This, what, this. What's uh, your best gay experience? Which is probably, what? What's your best gay experience? Where, have I ever done that? What's anything? your best one? Yeah. I I've, know you had a lot. I haven't done much. <laughs> yeah. I, I really, I've, um, hmm. <laughs> Going through my Rolodex of gay. I had my balls on Todd's head once. Yeah, I made you do that. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's right. For a bit. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think I've had many gay experiences. Like none. I no. I mean, I'm, I've kissed. Like I've kissed a boy or two. Oh, you have. You For got, a video? No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay if you have. <laughs> you gotta try it, bro. You gotta try Shut it. Up. No, I, for I've done for a video, yeah. But um, I don't know. <laughs> People are like, "There's no video of you kissing boys." <laughs> uh, I, I haven't uploaded it yet. <laughs> um, what do you think about uh, what do you think about all this uh, Me Too stuff? Huh? Oh wait, that was six months ago. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about Donald Trump being elected as president? Oh, crazy, huh? Yeah. What are the fucking chances? Um, do you think YouTube's going to be around in twenty years? Yeah. Yeah. I do. Do you think th- this is this is what I'm thinking? I think. How you- can you beat YouTube? You but, can't beat it. Tell me something you want to do. But dude, that's what people probably said about television. You, but you can't beat it. Imagine this. Imagine this. Okay. Imagine this. Uh, let's say I like uh, Family Feud. Sure. I'm on there watching Family Feud. And then in my head, I go, hey, you know what? I want to fix that door outside, but I don't know quite how to do it. <laughs> I'm still on YouTube. You yeah. know what I mean? You're right. Uh, you you want to, you, whatever you want to do. You want to make, make slime? You know how to do it on YouTube? I get you it. You can't fucking beat it. I get you want to listen to music? But I still think it's the same concept as. How could you beat that? You, you, you know that. Unless you put a chip in your head. That's what I'm saying. Oh, come on. They'll never be able to do that. To put chi- what do you sound like a fucking old man? I'm kidding. Oh, okay. But, but seriously, what would that look like, though? A chip in your head? I don't know. And I'm sure YouTube would sell to, to you know, have a part of it. Like, now you can have YouTube in your head. You know what I mean? But people I don't, don't want chips in their head. They'll never want chips in their head. I think there will be. Yeah, but I think I, I don't. I don't think it's going to be like a chip in the head. I think it's going to be a little bit more like... like virtual reality? It's going to be a little more like easygoing, in my opinion. It's not going to be like so permanent, like a chip in your head, because it's fucking terrifying. Oh, shit. All iPix closed down. What? All iPix closed down tonight. All the movie theaters are closed down? Yeah. No, well, just iPix. Why? What's going on? Uh, they just... And you got, you got they, the notification on they, your phone? They played the movies too much, and they're not playing them anymore. No Avengers. You have to wait till they're too for blurred. DVD. First of all, I heard Avengers is fucking kick ass. It's so good. I love. And I never movie. say that. It 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 it's really one of the best movies I ever saw, because it's just more than just them fighting. You know? Yeah, it's like storyline. Really, and you get to see all the characters in weird Dude, situations. I, I don't even want to talk about because I'm so You get excited. to see Thor with so and so, and Spider Man with so and so. Have you have you ever met anybody that was famous and not what you expected? That's a great question. Um, yeah, like okay, I met uh, I met Paul McCartney once. What? Yeah. How? When I worked at SNL. Oh yeah. Yeah, I just rode up in an elevator with him once. What'd you say to him? Um, I just was like, I didn't say anything to him, but he was just kind of like, um, kind of kind of needy. <laughs> From an elevator ride, yeah. you found out he was needy. That's what I surmised. How? How did you find that out? Because he was asking everyone, um, like what what they thought of his uh, his his performance. Oh, that's really sweet. It's really sweet, but I didn't. But but in my mind, I was like, uh, you're Paul McCartney. 
No, I think that's cool. Yeah. That's very humbling. Like yeah. a guy like Paul McCartney is still insecure about his performance on SNL. Yeah, but it almost felt false. Oh, it, you're saying it almost felt like he wanted people to tell him it was amazing. Yeah, it almost felt like he was trying to come off as humble. Oh. You know what I mean? When in reality, you're like, no, nah, you don't really need to know. Did he ask you? No, he did not ask me. He just didn't care for your opinion, probably. He asked me to turn around and face the wall while we were riding. Good, good. <laughs> All right, have you met any other celebrities that I should know about? Um, I've met uh, Kanye West. No, you have not. I have. I was, did you see what Kanye did the other day? He's been doing a lot. Uh, what what he's he do? doing? What did he do? Uh, he murdered seven kids. I did see that. <laughs> That's wild. No, I mean, he's, um, I, I honestly don't know what he's doing. He's, he's really pro-Trump now, which, I, is, which is a super Kanye thing to do, which is so, it's, it's like, it's honestly, it feels like it's fake because it's just like, it's exactly what Trump, uh, what Kanye would do. Kanye feel, I mean, I don't fucking know this guy and I'm 20 years old. I don't know why I'm even commenting on this, but he feels like a person to me. Um, this, I do this too. Um, he'll take the opposition because he wants to, he wants that. And that's what he's doing. Uh, you know what? I think you're right. I think that I don't think he really believes in Trump either. No, he's doing he's doing what that's I would do in an argument. If Liza goes, right. the sky is blue, I'll be like, you know what? I'm not too fucking sure about that. Right. And and I know for a fact the sky is fucking blue. Right. But I just wanna I wanna seem like well, what I'm, does he get out of that? He, he loses fans. Yeah, but he 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 gets the opportunity to fight for the underdog and like they're not the underdog. Trump. They're in power. But Trump, on the in, in the in the media's eyes, he gets the, the opportunity to be the only one in his crowd of people. So that gives him originality, and it, yeah. it, that gives him individuality by being that one person. Exactly, it brings more attention on him. Yeah, by taking he, the opposite. He, exactly. Oh, so that's why you take the opposite opinion all the time. I do. Hmm. So yeah. you get more attention. To get more I, attention. I thought you got enough. Um, no, nope. six million subscribers, but I guess six point four. Oh. Um, <laughs> no, um, no, no, but what, what, what Trump is, sorry, what Kanye is doing is basically he's, he's just been tweeting a lot of pro Trump stuff. Yeah. Did you see what John Legend tweeted? Uh, what yeah, John, you sent it in the group. Yeah, text. it was really, it was really funny. John, John Legend texted him and he was like, he texted him this like long paragraph about like Kanye, man, be careful what you're, what you're saying. Like there's a lot of, uh, kids that look up to you. Don't this be, is a personal text between this, John Legend and John Kanye Legend that he tweeted. Yeah, John Legend, uh, John Legend personally texted Kanye this. He was like, hey, Kanye, like, just be careful what you're doing. Get your facts straight. And Kanye tweeted the text message conversation. Oh, so funny. And, then, and then the next uh, text, John texted him again saying, um, I noticed that you're tweeting these. By the way, my new single is out. Make sure you go buy it. And then Kanye tweeted that too. That was really funny. I don't know. I don't know if that was like an interesting story at all. No, no, no. Wait, you missed the best part, which was what Kanye said. What did Kanye say? Kanye said, um, hold on, let me get it. Kanye, Kanye basically went, I love you, John. No, 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 no. Here, I got it. Was it. The funniest, it was the funniest uh, text. Jason's looking for something on his phone. Yeah. Kanye said, I love you, John, and I appreciate your thoughts. You bring up my fans or my legacy is a tactic based on fear used to manipulate my free <laughs> thought. That's what he said. And then, Jason, what did you say to that? I said, the next time David uh, calls me a pussy, I'm going to say, <laughs> David, that's a tactic based on fear and based uh, on messing with my free thought. <laughs> what is it? I want to get the line right. Here, let's practice it right now. Jason, you're a pussy. <laughs> uh, well, that may be true, David, but you're bringing up my... You're bringing right, let's up, try it again. Go. Okay. <laughs> Start from the top. Yeah. Jason, you're a pussy. You bringing up me being a pussy is a tactic based on fear used to manipulate my free, my free thought, David. God damn it. This would be so much better if you could read. I know. I've been able um, to read for a while. Okay, guys. Well, I have an update about... We have to go, but I have an update about the Views Tour. We're announcing it soon. Yes. We're announcing... We're figuring out a couple little things to add to it, but it's going to be announced. We're going to have a good time, hopefully. Some special guests. Some special... We, we don't know that. Let's, we don't know that, but we're working on details. And, so and that's why we haven't announced it the, rhymes the with, yet. It rhymes with Rance the Tapper. Chance the Rapper. In the Chicago... We're not getting Chance the Rapper. It's a fucking joke. <laughs> I love Chance the Rapper. Yeah, you, Jason was Jason just like looking at me with his. I was literally sitting with there his like, mouth that wide rhyme open. With Scott Sire, <laughs> <laughs> Jason, Jason staring at me with his mouth wide open. I can't believe we're getting fucking Chance the Rapper. Um, okay, uh, guys, check out our merch. Check it's out our merch. Hot. Make sure to tweet us a bunch of topics. We love listening to topics. We love these letters. Um, I'm sorry if we don't help you and we kind of just read the letter and we get really confused as to what you're saying us, telling us. But um, no, we love you guys sending in letters and asking us a bunch of questions. Um, oh, hold on. If you could go back in time now to before you and your ex-wife divorced, would you have written a prenup agreement from the start? 
Um, no. Jason, fun fact. I don't Jason, believe in prenups. Jason didn't keep anything in the divorce. No. He just kept a toaster. Yeah, I got that lawn chair that's in the backyard. That was it. Yeah, which I blew up the other day. <laughs> Thanks again. Um, <laughs> uh, no, I wouldn't do it. I don't believe in prenups. No, don't do don't. And I don't believe in taking money from other people. Yeah. And if you're a man, you're supposed to pay for everything anyway. Oh, okay. It's true. You're supposed to give all your money to your family. Really? Yeah. It's really the right thing to do. I'm never going to have a family. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping it all for myself. Can't take My, it with you when you go, David. If you mean family, you mean me, myself, and I, then fuck yeah. <laughs> hey, I saw a psychic the other day. That's cool. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll see you guys later. This has been a Views Podcast. My name is Jeff. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.